Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Petey Prowlog and here is my match reaction from England's 2-1 win yesterday against Denmark in the semi-final of Euro 2020. We are in the final where we will be taking on Italy on Sunday and oh my word, you're thinking final. We're in the final after it's been such a long time of getting this far in any major tournament. Well, we finally managed to book ourselves in the final for Sunday. The game yesterday, oh, when Kane managed to get that second goal for us from the rebound after Kasper Schmeichel saved the penalty, we and the lads on the watch along just went absolute wild. Because, oh, just to see Kane put that second goal in for England and for them to take the lead. And it won us the game. Um, as well, there was a lot of a really frustrating moments. Um, as well, there was times we were fannying about in the box a lot, and again, this side race passing backwards far too many times. When we know we can look to try and get a shot on target, which did really annoy uh, me, and you can tell it really annoyed um, a lot of the guys um, as well massively. But the main thing is, we got the job done yesterday to get ourselves to the final on Sunday. So we will look at the lineup from what Southgate went with. And he made one change. He did recall in Bakayo Saka. So he did drop out Jane Sancho. But apart from the assist, I didn't think Saka was that good. Uh, I must say, I thought he was getting caught out so many times. He was losing the ball. And uh, Southgate had to take him off pretty, pretty early in the second half, which was understandable because I just didn't think he had a great game. Uh, I must say. Um, for Denmark, uh, you could you could give them credit for getting this far in the competition. I mean, they obviously wanted to do it uh, for Christian Eriksen, and they can be proud of themselves that they did manage to reach this far into the semi-final. But it was just the main thing for us to get that job done and book our place in the final because it's been such a long time we have managed to do that in any competition. We wanted to make sure that it was our night yesterday, and it certainly really was um, indeed. So we did, know Denmark did take the lead from a free kick. I mean, it's a cracking strike, uh, I must say. I don't think Pickford had any chance of stopping that. It's a quality free kick, and we did start the game so well, but then we let Denmark come into it. We give away a free kick, and then Denmark scored from that free kick. It is a quality strike, uh, I must say. Pick for no chance. So we did concede our first goal in the tournament. I didn't think anyone would have saved that. No chance. I mean, you could tell the way it was struck and it was start to dip. It was a really good strike from their, from their player as well. Um, when then we knew we had to step our game up to look for that equaliser, which we did when Saka received the ball. Uh, fight Sterling uh, in the in the box. Well, unfortunately, their centre back uh, Aja thought he was going to clear it, but unfortunately, he cleared it into his own net, and that made it one-one into the game for England. So you think, right? We've got this equaliser. Now's the time to look for another goal to win us the game. And we'll go, so we're going to half time, and it's one-one. You think, right? Now is the opportunity to look for that second goal. And there was a lot of times we were clotting about in the box, just thinking, making it difficult ourselves when we know we can get a strike on goal. And that's how, unfortunately, the game had to go to extra time, uh, I must say. We should have brought on some more substitutions, but Southgate waited at going into extra time. He brought Henderson on, and then he brought Foden on um, as well, just to try and give us uh, some fresh legs. Um, in, in, uh, for extra time um, as well, which I think we did need. Uh, I must say, but I think we should have looked to bring more some attacking players on as well. I did great with Foden, but I think there should have been another attacking player on either Sancho, possibly. So, yeah. Harry Kane had a chance to take the lead, but his shot was saved. And then we did manage to win a penalty where Sterling was apparently brought down in the box. Lots of questions being asked. Was that a penalty? Well, the thing is, there should have been a penalty before that for England because you could tell Kane was easily uh, fouled in the penalty box. So the referee thought, well, I didn't give that one. Maybe I, I'm going to give this one. 
Um, instead, and to be honest, we've had loads of decisions go our way in plenty of other previous tournaments um, as well. So, again, that was no complaints from me. So, Harry Kane stepped up. The penalty took was awful. Kasper Smeichel saved, but Kane managed to get the rebound to put England 2-1 up into the game. And we are in front. And you're thinking, right, is it? are we just going to see the rest of this game out? Or is it going to be letting Denmark um, just see what they could do? But I think Denmark just really started to tire out throughout the rest of the game, which they really did. I know we did bring on uh, Kieran Trippi in the second half of extra time. We took Grealish off, which I didn't understand. <sighs> my word. Oh, my word. And I know um, still another chance Ray, towards the end of the game. Um, in the extra time to try and win it. But again, Schmeichel saved again. He's a great, good, deep, really good keeper, Kashmir Schmeichel, and he plays for Leicester City um, as well, and he is really, really good, Yeah, I must say. But England did win the game 2-1 when the referee blew that full-time whistle. So we are in the final. Oh, and you can tell there's going to be a lot of excitement and a lot of build-up for this game on Sunday as well. Can we bring it home on Sunday? We really, really hope um, we can. But the main thing is we got the job done yesterday to book that place in the final on Sunday. Oh, my word. So that is my match reaction. Let me know, as always, down in the comments section how you are feeling after that yesterday. Can we win Euro 2020? Bring it home. So... There you are. So I am going to do another watch along for the final. Why not? Me as well. These have been doing very well. So why not do another watch along uh, for Sunday's hair uh, game as well? And I'll probably do another match reaction. Seeing how uh, if doing if we have won it or if we haven't. But there you are. So thank you for watching. Of course, don't forget to give this video a like. And uh, please drop your comments in as well. How, how you are feeling as I've mentioned. And of course, if you haven't checked me out before, please do hit that subscribe button and I shall catch us all later. Take care. Whoa. Let me know how you are feeling as always. And of course, I've got to mention, keep an eye out for the preview for the Italy game as well.